I'm proud to announce the creation of the first ever White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention, the first office in our history. After every mass shooting, we hear a simple message, the same message all over the country, and I've been to every mass shooting. Do something. Please do something. Do something to prevent the tragedies that leave behind survivors who will always carry the physical and emotional scars. Families will never quite be the same. Communities overwhelmed by grief and trauma. Do something. Do something. Well, my administration has been working relentlessly to do something. To date, my administration has announced dozens of executive actions to reduce gun violence more than any of my predecessors at this point in their presidencies. And they include everything from cracking down on ghost guns, breaking up gun trafficking, and so much more. Again, it's, I'll say it again. I'm not going to be quiet until we get it done. It's time again to ban assault weapons high capacity magazines. If you need 80 shots in a magazine, you shouldn't own a gun. Because, look, last time we did it, it worked. We also, last time, we established universal background checks to require safe storage of firearms. It's time. An office, and the office will have four primary responsibilities. First, to expedite the implementation of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act and the executive actions already announced. And I mean it. We're going to fully implement them. Second, coordinate more support for survivors, families, and communities affected by gun violence, including mental health care, financial assistance, the same way FEMA responds to natural disasters. Same way. And helps folks recover and rebuild and alter. Look, folks, shootings are the ultimate superstorm ripping through communities. Third, identify new executive actions we can take within our legal authority to reduce gun violence. And fourth, expand our coalition of partners in states and cities across America, because we do have partners to get more. We need more state and local help to get these laws passed locally as well.